What's up? Chris Gethin here. So right now in this little episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about meditation. Now I think it's very important to start your day every single day, every day with meditation and setting your positive intention for the day. Um, quite often people wake up and instantly switch on their phone and they become a reaction and have some sort of anxiety within them, even though, even though they may not be conscious of it, they could be completely oblivious of it, but their cortisol levels are slightly elevated, their HRV, the heart rate variability is starting to tank, and they're in, in a sympathetic state instead of a rest and parasympathetic state. So I suggest that everybody starts off with meditation um, in, a day, in a day. It doesn't have to be immediately after you wake up, maybe make your coffee, just do not switch your phone on, on or take it off airplane mode. I don't have it in the bedroom. I don't allow the phone to be in the bedroom. If you want an alarm clock, get an old school alarm clock. You just don't want those EMFs penetrating you and you don't want to wake up to that. Now, you can use a guided meditation. If you're the kind of person that gets a lot of noise in your head and you just are distracted, then you can use an app. There's also something that I use every now and again, it's called a Muse, where this goes on your head and it measures your brain waves and you actually have different types of sounds that you can listen to to concentrate on. Uh, so that can work. And don't worry about, let's say, if you've been doing it for a couple of weeks, and you keep on getting different thoughts in your head. That's not you failing, it's you practicing. You just need to acknowledge it and go, okay, I'm just gonna bring myself back to my breath or whatever you're focusing on, your, your diaphragm. Maybe it's your toes, you're gonna scan your body from the top of your head down to your toes and back up. Um, I went on a 10 day silent retreat where I was meditating from 4.30 in the morning until nine o'clock in the evening. It was difficult, it was very, very difficult. But since then I've been religiously practicing and I was practicing before, but I was on and off. But I realize now the, the power and the potential of meditating. Now just start off with maybe three minutes and then maybe increase the following week to four minutes and then five minutes. Maybe five minutes is all you need and all you have time for, that's fine. If you have, if you hear noises outside, let's say it's the, the, the dumpster, the trash uh, the guy or cars, or whatever, don't try to ignore it, you know, acknowledge it. It's gonna be there, that's fine. You'll never find the perfect time to meditate. I like to get up very early in the morning because I am less distracted. I don't have people distracting me. Uh, but what I'll do, I'll usually sit in an upright position. I usually lean my back against a wall. You don't have to. I lean my back against a wall because I get a little bit discomfort otherwise, and I don't want that to distract me. And I usually just sit with my eyes closed, and I'll just take deep breaths. I'll breathe in usually over about five to six seconds and I'll pause, hold it for about two to four seconds and then exhale again about six, around six seconds and pause for around two to four and then repeat that process. You find whatever pattern that works for you. Now, if for instance you meditate in the morning, doesn't mean that you're done with it. Like quite often when I'm earthing outside, I'll further meditate. If I'm uh, in the sauna, sometimes I'll further meditate. All depends on that day, if I have any anxiety within me, if there's anything that I wanna kinda get rid of and uh, uh, recollect and then remove, then that's what I'll do. When I'm eating, I eat nice and slowly and I'm present. I'm not scrolling on the phone, I'm not reading anything, I'm not distracted, I'm putting my fork down between bites and I'm acknowledging, I'm appreciating. You know, and I'm taking my time to put myself in a perfect state of digestion. And the more that you practice meditation, the more that you can put yourself in that position of sometimes of occasional stress. You know, when you're anxious, when you're in a rush, gotta get the food down. You just take, take time. And uh, one of my meditation instructors always said, hey, nature, takes its time, but it gets, it always gets done because I'm the type of person that has to go, 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 go from the moment that I wake up and she's really helped me unwind and just realize, you know what? 
it will get done. So start with this on a daily basis. Little and often is the most powerful. Work your way up to about 10 minutes. I'd say five minutes is good for most people, but maybe 10 minutes just to really get yourself into that routine. And when I do my seminars, I quite often ask people, who's meditated? Everyone puts their hands up. And I ask them, who meditates? No one puts their hands up because it's difficult, it takes time. It's much like working a muscle, it will take time. And working a habit, it can take at least a month for you to get into it, but you need to be persistent and you need to be consistent, so don't give up.